So it's true that the airlines had a, had a bad first century. I mean, they're kind of like the Chicago Cubs. You know, everybody has a bad century now. <laughs> and, and, and they got that century out of the way, I hope. Uh, but it's, it's been a disaster for capital. I mean, it, it's got glamour to it. So you can, all, you can always get guys to put some money up for an airline. Uh, and you can go to the internet and look at 100 of them that failed. And, and all of them now that are operating, you know, with the exception of Southwest, I mean, they, they, they've been through bankruptcy. And I bought into one called US Air. That was my yeah. previous investment in the I don't know, late 1980s. Ed Kaladi, who was the CEO, came out here. We had dinner at Garotz, and I gave him $358 million. And it disappeared almost before we finished dinner. I mean, <laughs> the airline, uh, U.S. Air had some favored routes, but Southwest was coming at them over time. And I tried to sell that stock at 50 cents on the dollar. It was a preferred stock. Fortunately, I wasn't able to do it, and then they had this blip. So we actually made quite a bit of money. I mean, we're one for one on airlines, actually, but not because we were smart. And then it went bankrupt twice afterwards, U.S. Air did. It's part of American Air now. So yeah. why in the world do you buy back in now? If well, you are it, so sure that this was a horrible business, what, what's changed? It's a very tough business because it's got the marginal cost of a seat is practically nothing. You have these huge fixed costs, and yet, if you take one more person on, there's virtually no cost to it. So you're very tempted to sell that last seat too cheap. And if you sell the last seat too cheap, it becomes the first seat for, in a way. So it has, it has this dynamic to it. And unless the airlines operate in the well over 80% capacity, what kills you is when they really have too many airplanes around. I mean, they do what anybody else does. If they got too many airplanes around, they just they get down to marginal cost, and marginal cost cause you to go broke over time in the airline business. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.